Colossians 5, 22. It tells us that love, joy, peace, faithfulness, kindness, etc. If you go there and turn and read that yourself, you'll see what it is. And what I was thinking about is, you know, I started thinking about it because I was eating this little snack. It's got key lime pie in it and um, other natural flavors. <laughs> but I was thinking, you know, it's got a real fruity flavor. But it doesn't have a whole lot of fruit in it. And then there's my banana, which is all fruit except for the outside skin. But if you look at it, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty rotten. And sometimes when we're walking in the spirit, our fruit looks better than this. But we'll set it to the side and we'll forget about it. Or maybe it'll get set in with the wrong fruit. You know, if you go back before um, Galatians 5.22, if you go before that, then you can read the list of things that we're not supposed to do. And sometimes this is what our fruit looks like when we're not supposed to do it. <laughs> now I'm talking about spiritual fruit. But my actual banana, you can smell it. It's really strong. If I took a bite out of this, it would be so strong. But it'd still be edible. But it won't taste as good as I would think it would. So when we, when we walk in the Spirit, we're supposed to produce the fruits of the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit in us is producing that, right? And that means that it's making it. So my orange tree over here behind me, it's a... Uh, not producing fruit yet, but someday it's going to have lots of oranges on it. We have a persimmon tree. It's producing tons of fruit. So is our apple tree and our lemon tree. Now they're growing great because they're older and they're stronger. And we've taken really good care of them. But the one thing that's really good is that our fruit that we produce, we don't eat it all ourselves. We find someone else to share it with. And it's the same thing with the fruit of the spirit. The love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, and self-control. Those are things we need to share with other people. And that's the whole point of having a fruit, right? Um, the Word of God tells us that we are known by our fruits. So when we're giving our fruit away, we don't want to give it away rotten. We want to give away fresh fruit. And we don't want to just pile it in with everything else in the world. We want to be able to keep our fruit separate because, let's face it, God said for us to be separate. We need to stand out as Christians in a world full of rotten fruit. So think about that while you're thinking about your fruits of the Spirit this week. We learned a little bit about that in church at New Hope this week, and I wrote about it in my devotional on TeresaWilson.com, so you can check it over there too. Um, a little elaborated on a little bit more, but I was thinking about the fact that we are to produce fruit, but the fruit is not just for us because we don't want to hoard it. We want to share our fruits. So as we produce good fruit by walking the way Christ wants us to, then we need to share that with other people. So think about that today. And um, when I'm done here, I'm going to go think about it myself. So have a great day and thank you for sharing with coffee and tea. I'll see you next time. Bye.